Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the path loss 5 training series. In this video we will see that how you can design a network in path loss from the start to the finish. However, we will see all the steps in very brief because I have made uh, separate videos in which I have discussed and uh, in detail I have told that how these steps can be done. So in this particular video I will just tell you that what steps are required to make end-to-end uh, -to -end a whole uh, network plan and uh, for uh, detail of each step you can refer to my other videos. So now we will see how we can uh, design a network in path loss 5. So just for example if you are working on a project and you want to start a new project so you want to start a new project in path loss 5 so what you will do you will go in files and then you will click new so a new project will be started so for a new project we have to first configure a lot of things uh, the minimum things we have to configure are at least three and the maximum you can configure you can see almost everything in, in this uh, tab the three things that we have to configure is the set GIS configuration, antenna data file index and radio data file index. So once you set the GIS configuration, you will tell it that which map is being used and where it is. You can see my video on this GIS configurations. And in the same way, you have to tell path loss that where you have put the antenna file and the radio files. Also, you can make different groups of your sites. You can make a frequency plan. You can make a master database. However, these things are uh, not mandatory. I mean, you can just set a GIS configuration and you can make uh, antenna data file index and radio data file index. Then you can go to view and then site list. Here you will import the site list because right now we have no sites here. So I have a video on how to import the site list. You can watch that, that video if you want. But uh, after doing this site list import, you will get all your sites and you can now view the sites. Once you have all the sites, if you want, you can add a backdrop as well. Uh, backdrop will help you. I have a video on backdrop as well. You can watch that video if you like. And uh, once you made all of your required links because first you will make the links as per the line of sight which are you will be provided with a line of sight reports and based on those reports you can make links here once you have made all the links then you have to plan each and every link separately because each link has its own implication so you have to plan each link separately for example you made uh, this link and then you right click on the link and then you go in the terrain data. So to plan a link, first you have to go in terrain data and then you have to generate the profile. Once you generate the profile, then you will see the, the path profile here and then you can go in and you can do the transmission analysis. This is the step where you configure a lot of things like uh, First, you have to tell path loss that what kind of uh, configuration you have. I have a separate video on the on all the configurations that path loss can make for you. Like for example, a simple one plus zero link, a one plus one link, and you are using space diversity or what kind of configuration you are using on both the sides. So once you finalize the configuration, then you have to. Uh, tell path loss that which antenna will be used and which radio will be used here and then you will uh, configure the RAIN and the link uh, values and as my, as you will be putting the uh, you will be configuring the things here this table should be automatically be populated once you have put everything then this table will also be fully populated and you will have all the values here so once all the values are here and you have fully designed this link you can go and then you can check the multi-path or reflections if you are not getting any reflections on these links 
also you can optimize your antenna heights if you like but if you have a higher antenna then required uh, then it then the required uh, height then it's not a big problem i mean having antenna higher is not a very much big issue in all the links but uh, the multipath will tell you if your antenna heights are fine you are not having any reflections so based on multipath you may have to revise your antenna heights so you can do multipath after terrain data as well i mean multipath can be done before this analysis and antenna heights you can revise anytime whenever you want so once you have done all these four things like transmission analysis terrain data antenna heights multipath also you can do diffractions as well uh, this note is just to make notes about the link then you will have to do a interference of your network this interference has to be done as much as possible it is up to you i mean you can do it on addition of each and every link or you can do it once you added some links that you know that these links will create a minimum of interference i mean how many times you want to do it and at what frequency it's up to you but if it is a very new link very new network then it's better that you do it after you have put a chunk of sites in a single place for example if in a city you have put 30 40 sites then it's better to calculate interference because if there is any small interference then you should know it from the start and you can change your frequency plan so once you are done with everything all of these things then the last thing is that you make the reports so you go to the reports and you make the reports for the customer and then you print all the reports and you can send the report to the customer and now your work is fully finished so hopefully this video should be beneficial for you you should have learned inshallah something from this If you have any question or comment you can contact me on my email address or through LinkedIn. Please subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified of any new video which is being added. And inshallah see you next time in my next video. Assalamu alaikum.